Welcome to First at Four, I'm Emily Sobey. And I'm Pat Nolan. A Mount Rowan family has escaped a fire at their home this afternoon. The fire occurred at the property at 2.30pm uh, with the family forced to break a window to escape before the, the house's roof caved in. Pat, you were on scene there this afternoon, what happened? Yeah, well we, when we arrived Emily, the flames had all but uh, been put out by the firefighters but there was still a lot of smoke coming out of the house. There was about 20 to 25 firemen on scene, they'd said uh, by the time they rocked up the house was fully involved, the family had just escaped, apparently breaking through a window, and then a couple of minutes later the roof of the house actually collapsed. It's not known exactly how bad the damage is, but it's, yeah, it doesn't look good for the family at all. Okay, uh, and Pat will bring us the full story on that one as well tomorrow. Meanwhile in court, a woman who crashed her car while almost six times the legal limit, then fell asleep while her car remained idle at the side of the road, has been jailed. The 54-year-old woman fronted Ballarat Magistrates Court this morning following the incident in Avoca in August last year. She pleaded guilty to drink driving, careless driving and driving while disqualified. She was jailed for two months and had her driver's licence cancelled and disqualified for seven years. Reporter Evan Sherman brings us the full story tomorrow. And in Wednesday's sport, Melanie Whelan is covering the Lake Wendouree star Ben Taylor's crucial appearance before the Ballarat Tribunal tonight. For all those stories and more, don't miss your edition of The Courier tomorrow with latest updates plus weekend in sport photo galleries online at thecourier.com.au.